In this video, I want to remind people about what Father Vladimir Mordvinkin, a priest in the RTOC under Bishop Stefan, did back in 2010. I contacted him to see about going to his church, and he pointed me to a church in the Serbian Patriarchate. And by doing so, he disobeyed and violated the official ecclesiology, the official position of his own church. And this is another example of contradiction, disobedience, and hypocrisy that we find with these old calendarists. Okay, so I did the right thing and kindly informed him that the church he pointed me to was with a Serbian patriarchate. And you can hear the whole story by clicking on this video here. So did Father Vladimir apologize? No. Did he assure me that he would never again make this kind of mistake? No. Instead, he fled because he lacks Christian love. Okay. I informed Bishop Stefan about this, his bishop, and uh, no apology, no explanation, nothing. So I don't want to elaborate here, people. You can hear the whole story by clicking onto this video that I made about the RTOC. And it gets into detail about things. So Father Vladimir Mordvinkin is just another example of disobedience, hypocrisy, and contradiction that we find with these old calendarists. And the thing that I really resent is the complete lack of Christian love, the complete lack of concern for me and the fact that I was scandalized. And this tells me that in his mind and in the minds of these RTOC clergy, I don't have any worth or value. They have no respect for me. And this is not Christianity. See, in Christianity, in biblical Christianity, we see that Christ looks for the one lost sheep, you know, who is lost. He cares about his sheep. But these people don't care because they're hirelings. They don't respect the sheep. They don't care. This is just... This RTOC is just an ideological and political operation pretending to be orthodox. When it really comes down to it, when it really comes down to exercising Christian love and humility, that's where they stop. So they just want people who go along, just like the GOC, they just want people who go along with all their disobedience, all their hypocrisy, contradictions, and violations. And I can't do that as an orthodox Christian. I did them no wrong. I did them no wrong. It was not my fault that Father Vladimir of Sacramento pointed me to the Serbian Patriarchate. So these people are not in the image of likeness of Christ. They lack Christian love. They lack missionary zeal. They lack pastoral concern. And you can hear the whole story by clicking onto this video. I thank you for your attention and time.